Now, for the viewers and fight fans in attendance around the world, and the millions of future subscribers across all my social media platforms, welcome to Tough Glove Boxing. I am locked in, and let's get ready to talk about it! What's good, everybody? I'm locked in. Welcome to another episode of Tough Glove Boxing. You gotta excuse me, I'm a little under the weather, but I'm still on my grind. I'm still gonna put this work in for you guys and get you this content. Uh, you see who we got on the screen. So now, before we get into all of that, right... I want to uh, make a note of a few things. Listen, I always appreciate my new subscribers of the channel. Like I always say, it's growing slowly but surely. Hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And every Wednesday, I like to shout out my subscribers and uh, on screen. But for some reason, YouTube is not showing me. I'm getting a new subscription, but they don't put the names of the people that's subscribing. So if you do become a new subscriber, okay? I want you to get in the comment section and just put new sub for me, okay? So that way I can have your name and when I go to do my shout outs on Wednesdays to the new subscribers, I can include you in that. If you do subscribe to the channel and you didn't hear me shout you out, I want to apologize. It's just something uh, that's going on with YouTube that they show me some people subscribe and not others. So if you want to get credit for that, I'll be glad to give it to you. Go ahead and put in the comment section, new sub, even if you don't put nothing else in the comment section. So that way I can match it up with the amount of... Uh, and give you a shout out that I feel like you deserve. Now, with that said, you see who we got on the screen. My man, Deontay Wilder. So now check this out. Uh, congratulations to Javante Tank Davis before we get into the Wilder talk. I'm not going to go too much into that. Everybody's talking about it. But if you look at my prediction video uh, for Javante Tank Davis and, and Roley Romero... It played out exactly as I said it was going to play play out. And, you know, so it is what it is. I didn't expect this outcome to be any different than it was. But at the same time, you know, they created an exciting atmosphere. It was a good event. Shout out to Leonard Ellaby for pulling it off. And congratulations to Javante Tank Davis. Did Roley do better than I thought he would? No. Actually, he didn't. It was just a matter of time before the hammer fell. And that's just what that is. All right. But shout out to Tank Davis for, you know, proving what I already knew was going to be true. Now, back on to the subject of my man. Why is Deontay Wilder on the screen? Because from what I understand, I've been seeing a lot of content creators um, come out with some information. And even from some who are very close to Deontay Wilder saying that he's going to make a comeback. Deontay Wilder is going to make a comeback. Now, I'll be honest with you. Unless he needs the money, which I doubt, okay, because he's a very intelligent man, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't come back. And here's why. I wouldn't come back because I don't feel boxing deserves Deontay Wilder. I know a lot of people are uh, not ready to let it go, let Deontay Wilder go here in the States, especially the black Americans. I rock with you and I understand and I'm speaking to you because I don't feel boxing deserves it, especially uh, in America. And the reason why I feel that is because when that fight happened, after all that Deontay Wilder contributed to the sport of boxing, all that he gave us, they basically let this man get railroaded. You know, all of these racist comments was coming out about him, you know, when he is actually the one who revived Tyson Fury's career. Tyson Fury, I don't have an issue with. Those are the only two blemishes, really three with the draw blemishes on Deontay Wilder's record. And, you know, styles make fights. And so that victory is not really surprising. I feel like if Deontay Wilder right now fights Usyk, if, if Usyk is as elusive as Tyson Fury was, he might can pull off the unanimous decision. I personally think Usyk has a greater chance of getting knocked out than Tyson Fury because he's nowhere near as big as Tyson Fury's was. And he's not going to be able to absorb the same punishment that Tyson Fury absorbed. You got to forget, Deontay Wilder did to Tyson Fury what no other fighter has done to Tyson Fury. And that's just the fact of the matter. Right? 
uh, Tyson Fury did win. Um, you know, the first fight, it was questionable if the count was wrong, but he could have easily lost that fight, right? And also, in the third fight, if Deontay Wilder would have went to the right corner and saved himself the five seconds, it's very likely Tyson Fury would have lost. But that's neither here nor there. Tyson Fury is still undefeated, deservingly so. That last fight that he tried to get out of was actually a classic fight, and he did his thing, and he finished off Deontay Wilder. However, the, the hate that Deontay Wilder received during this whole thing, even leading up from the first fight, was undeserved. It was undeserved. Here they held in Anthony Joshua, who in my opinion is not half of what Deontay Wilder was. You got this, and, and, and to be clear, Tyson Fury hasn't sold the same sense. His name hasn't been the same since it was when you put it next to Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder was his, was his biggest payday, and he's never going to get another payday as big as the one he got with Deontay Wilder. They actually tried to rob Deontay Wilder out of a payday. That's how real the fear was. But here's my, here's my problem. It's not the fact that Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder because this is the sport of boxing. And if you really want to break down the records, Tyson Fury's record is never going to surpass Deontay Wilder's. Deontay Wilder brought a bronze medal home for his country. Tyson Fury didn't even get the fight for his country. You can say for whatever reasons, right? Throughout the sport of boxing, Deontay Wilder's name has been squeaky clean, right? Up until the excuses for the second fight, which things came out after that. What Bob Arum and top rank, you know, information came out after that, that everything wasn't as squeaky clean as it should have been. But that's neither here nor there. That's not on Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury did what he had to do. Now, the reason why I'm not taking nothing from Tyson Fury is because Tyson Fury knows himself of what I'm saying to be true. He knows this to be true. Deontay Wilder revived his career and basically saved his life, okay, and gave him another opportunity to get into the spotlight, the spotlight which he did deserve because he is one of the best heavyweights of the new generation. But I don't think he would have held up to the older guys. And when you take that, approach and you put Deontay Wilder in that place, Deontay Wilder could have fought in the olden days, like George Foreman. Here is what it is. Deontay Wilder experienced a lot of racism. Even now, you know, people call Tyson Fury, I guess in, in Europe or something, the monkey killer, alluding to the fact that he's beaten so many black fighters. So if he's the monkey killer, what do you call Deontay Wilder for all of the white fighters that he demolished just easily? Walk through them. Because when you put their resumes together, and don't test me, because I will do that if you guys push me in the comment section. But if you put the resumes together, you will see that they've been their own best competition. Their resumes are not that far fetched. Everybody talks about who Deontay Wilder was knocking out. But when you actually pull up the resumes and mention the name for names which I actually did in an old video from last year, right? Then you will see that their records are really not that far apart as far as great names on their resume, okay? They both got about two or three high-level names on their resume with the exception of each other. Now, here's the thing. You can't move the way Tyson Fury moved in the past and get all of this, you know, this, this credit for being this amazing guy. You understand? The guy was a drug addict. He was an alcoholic. Uh, he even got busted for being a drug cheat in the sport of boxing. This is not hate. This is all facts. He didn't give Klitschko a contracted rematch that was supposed to happen. Instead, he retired and gave up his belts. And you got to ask yourself, again, why would somebody at the height of their career fall into a depression? It's easy to say mental illness, but there are things that lead up to that. When you're a shit person and you have a shit spirit, which at that time Tyson Fury had, just look at his lifestyle. How do you then tell me that I should praise him over a man who stayed disciplined pretty much his whole career? A man who never had issues with drugs, a man who was always spiritually strong, who spoke positivity, who gave your hero an opportunity to come back and be great. 
See, I don't take nothing from Tyson Fury because what I'm saying, Tyson Fury knows to be true. It's his fanboys who I don't like and who I don't appreciate. Deontay Wilder is going down in history, like it or not, is one of the great, greatest heavyweights to ever do it. He's definitely going down in history for the heavyweight with the most knockouts out of any heavyweight in history. The man has 42 fights, right? I'm sorry. It looks here. Yeah, yeah it says here 42, but something's a little off. He has 41 KOs, right? So I'm guessing he has 42 victories, 41 KOs. Uh, two defeats at the hands of Tyson Fury and a draw at the hands of Tyson Fury. He's only lost to one person his whole entire career. But you guys call him garbage. You guys say he's trash. He can't fight. Yet you can't name me one other boxer. One other boxer in history. That has the record that he has, including the bronze medal that he won 19 months after he started boxing. As opposed to Tyson Fury, who's been boxing since he was a child, who has an extensive amateur record, never got to fight for his country for whatever reason, uh, had some mostly boring fights. Let's just be real. His style of fighting was not exciting. Deontay Wilder has more exciting fights than Tyson could even dream of having. The majority of Tyson Fury's fights were seen as boring. That's just a fact. His most exciting fight was Deontay Wilder. Where's the lie? Now, I give Tyson credit for being undefeated. I like Tyson Fury's personality, right? Like Deontay Wilder even said, I think it's good for boxing. He was cocky. He made the press conferences interesting. He was funny, but you know, he had to come over here to America to get his to get to to get to who he is now. He had to drop who he was using in Europe and come to America and deal with the crunk gym in order to pull off the victories that he pulled off. And that's a legendary gym. So for all of you guys with the racism and the monkey and the this and the monkey that, well, according to you, then he owes all his credit to the monkeys. And that's what I have a problem with. I don't feel that America stood behind Deontay Wilder when Tyson Fury came over the top rank, especially white America. And that's the thing that bothers me about America as a whole. You have... All of the, you love to take the, the credit for the accolades of the Olympics and, and boast the Olympic record. Oh, look how many Olympic medals we got and everything like that. But when it comes time to who's winning these medals, right? Maybe you guys feel a lack of accomplishment in that department or something. I don't know. But black Americans have represented America well for generations. And there's no secret that we are the reason why America is what it is anyway. Our blood fueled this country's progress. Without American, black Americans being slaves in this country, America is, at, at this point, nothing. Probably, maybe, they don't even have the wealth, you understand, to become who they became. And that's just a fact. Nobody can deny it. And if you do, I feel bad that you have to live in the false reality bubble that you've created for your own security. Now, like I said, I don't think Deontay Wilder has anything more to prove to anybody. Right? I'm glad to see that they gave the man the proper statue that he deserves for his contribution to the sport of boxing. But as far as that's concerned, I wouldn't come back if I was you, Deontay Wilder. I don't feel that American boxing deserves you. I don't feel like you have anything else to prove. I don't think anybody's going to surpass your record anytime soon. Come on, 41 knockouts? That's like in the 90 percentile. Right? Show me another heavyweight fighter with that same record. Tyson Fury, right? 32 wins, 23 KOs. One draw. 
no medals, a controversial past. When you just look at the characters as men, right? He don't even really shine in that area. But, you know, like I say, a lot of people need to look at Tyson Fury's complexion and they feel some type of pride for themselves for that. And I get that. But if you're a white American, I don't see why you feel pride. Like, can we, when was the last heavyweight white American champion? Right? For y'all to have booed Deontay Wilder in his own country. And believe me, I saw the crowd. White America came out for Tyson Fury. And they was born against Tyson Fury. Right? And so that's my problem I have. Regardless of how you guys feel about what I said, that's why I don't feel Deontay Wilder should come back. Not because I don't miss him. Not because I don't think he's a great boxer. But I think that at this point, he should leave his legacy where it is. He's done enough. And what he's done, his own country, boxing, doesn't even deserve him. You guys let me know if you feel how I feel. If I'm over-exaggerating and if you want to detract or, or disagree with what I'm saying, let me know what I said wrong. Because like I said, this channel is about facts over feelings. Okay? Facts over feelings. He loses to Tyson Fury because Tyson's Fury size and because styles make fights. Okay? But as far as calling him trash monkey all of these racist names that you insecure white people had to use to discredit his accomplishments it didn't work it didn't work and i personally don't feel like he should come back i don't think he left on a bad note his last fight if he goes to the right corner he wins period period that can't be disputed that can't be disputed but anyway, y'all let me know how you feel. I'm locked in. Tough Glove Boxing. I'm out. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here.